all right everybody this is gonna be my first vr video uh with my quest 3 what i'm going to be doing is a little test out is that i'm going to be washing my car of course if you watch the channel it is my 2014 mazda 6 uh it is bagged using airlifts uh 3h which means that it has the height sensors um three-piece wheels course fork exhaust all that fun stuff so this is kind of weird i probably look stupid uh out here but i don't see like any car content with like people work on their cars and stuff while using vr headset so if y'all are looking into that or if y'all want to see how that works we're gonna give it a try so let's just kind of get to it there we go but yeah, looking through this while doing something, like I said, it's, it's definitely doable. But weird. Whatever. Like I said, I've seen like no automotive usage of this at all. So, but I can see where it could, where it could come in handy. So I want to see something real fast. So if I take this browser, what is that? Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. But if I take this and I close it, and if I take this and put it right here, and then open the browser, and then go to YouTube. This would be better sitting in front of the car. I, I don't know. Let's 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 play buddy right here. Let's make that full screen. And then we'll have that playing. And it might be laggy because I'm a little far from my um from my router as well. Liza, y'all let me know what y'all would like to see me do with this VR headset. Oh, we're doing the same thing. Look at that. Stop wrong detailing business. I got a YouTube channel, a power washer, and a foam cannon. If y'all own a detail business, y'all let me know. How hard is it? And would y'all use a VR Quest? The detail, I didn't take my socks off. Even my feet be wet, I'm gonna be upset. All right, so we are back. We got the second covering of the foam cannon on here. So the first layer, the first time my foam cannon let it sit there, uh, that is to help to bring up any immediate dirt that is on the car. Uh, that way, it helps to prevent swirl marks because swirl marks is literally just dirt that is on the car uh, that you are washing into the paint and then that dirt is like gritty therefore you get swirl marks let me take a thumbnail real fast there we have a thumbnail what do I do with my there it is yeah so i see a lot of people who will just use the foam cannon and then they will rinse the car off dry it and be like oh yeah my car is clean i mean if your car was clean before if it was like you wash your car like every couple of days then yes the foam cannon itself will probably do the job of getting that light top layer of dust off or whatever but if your car is dirty than just using the phone cannon and not agitating uh, the surface is really not gonna help with your car being clean. You know, that's kind of like the debate of washing with your hand and not using a loofah or a washcloth. But I'm not here to debate 
who washes the best. But ask your question is, when you wash your car or your dishes, do you just use your hands or do you use a washcloth? I did a video on washing my wheels and that was probably a while ago. And I would like to play that while I am washing my wheels as a shameless plug. Dog, how long ago did I do that video? Oh, right here. Here we go. Best way to clean your wet, your wet cranes, three-piece wheels. From the moment it leaves the factory, critical parts of your engine are building up deposits. And at Valvoline, preventing these damaging deposits isn't enough. We've revolutionized a way to reverse them. Introducing Valvoline Restore and Protect. The first and only motor oil that returns pistons to factory clean by removing up to 100% of deposits with continuous use. Restore your engine to perform like new. With Restore and Protect, another first from Valvoline. So, oh yeah, I don't see any crud watch that. in between that now. The lip is clean behind there and everything. Just wanted to record a quick video uh, cleaning the weds. So one problem that I'm having so far is that once it gets dirty and when you wash your wheels, it leaves crud and stuff in between the spoke and the lip. And I can't stand it. So I asked a question on the Only Rats uh, Instagram page. No, what happened? So I think that's a W in my book. Big W. So let me clean the rest of them. my wheels while I'm watching the video. And I'm back. My wheel. And the end result, clean faces, clean, clean barrels. Faces. No And crud. that little gap that's in right, between. That's right, that's right. The face and the barrel. So always remember when you watch the videos to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish washing the other three wheels. And then I'll be back when it's time to dry the car off. Let me minimize this. All right, so the car is washed. Now we need to dry it. I have my chamois pre-wetted, but to help expedite uh, dry time and to get water out of in between the crevices, so that way when you dry it, you don't um, like have water running down. And yeah, you know, I got. 2400 EX 1983 200E. Uh, I got a Warrior, Baja Warrior. Uh, my son's 110, my daughter's 50cc, a future uh, mini drift quad that I actually have another one of too, but I got to find wheels for them. But yeah, using, and I do want the Milwaukee uh, air dryer so I don't have to worry about the gas stuff like when I'm driving my car. Uh, but using this helps to get the water from in between the cracks of the doorknobs and mirrors and all that stuff. That way, once you dry it, uh, you don't have water streaks and stuff down the side of your car. Ken, what you want? I'm, re I'm recording a video. So, yeah, using this helps get the water from behind all the crevices. And then on your wheels and stuff uh, to get it out from, from all up under there and everything as well. So I don't know how the noise is going to pick up uh, with this, but if you have on headphones, R.I.P. gonna finish driving my car and I'll be back once it's all done just gonna give it a quick dry down the weather wasn't saying it's supposed to rain any this week so at least my car will be clean for a couple of days so that'll be nice so yeah 
And definitely, if you have any uh, tips or tricks for people watching, let me know in the comments below to give other people like tips and tricks as well. I know people are always looking for uh, things to do to take care of their car better. You know, people have nice paint. What's up? What's up? Because I can see through mine. I can see through mine. I'm recording a video. Okay. Well, what else you want? What, you, what else you want me to fix? Okay, the food is made. So ask her what else. Ask her what else that she wants. Or does she want me to make her plate and blink, bring it to her? Okay, well, how about you find out? So, yeah, if y'all have any tips or tricks, ancient knowledge, or whatever, uh, for people that may also be watching this, my car feels rough. Like, what is on my paint? It feels gritty in the world. But, yeah, if y'all have tips and tricks, or you can put links to other other people's videos that probably clean their cars way better than mine i know my point of reference is always uh chauncey aka clean white six uh he has a white mazda six and i swear i've never seen that thing dirty and he also just picked up a a white e-class and that thing has never been dirty either darius didn't you just take a bath so why are you out here barefooted? Wipe your feet off when you go in the house. Jesus, kids, boy, they just... And he'll be upset if I told him to get back in the doggone shower again. Then he's going to not wipe his feet off and then go lay in his bed with dirty road grime feet and then wonder why his sheets are nasty. All right, so... For the most part, I am done washing my car. Um, I'm going to put tire shine on the tires, give the wheels a, a little wipe down with a microfiber, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, if y'all want to see more automotive VR footage or ATV VR footage or just miscellaneous, whatever, whatever VR footage that y'all might want to see, let me know i might not do any driving vr footage because like i said just moving a little bit of moving like the camera is i mean this it's fast it does good but i just i don't know if i want to drive with this headset on i don't even know if i would ride my forward with this headset on to be honest with you um so yeah y'all let me know what y'all would like to see i'm definitely have to get a non-white head strap uh, because this head stripe, this head, this white head strap is going to be brown if I keep doing stuff like this out here sweating in it. So yeah, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Darius Beals, uh, Beals is with a Z, so B U I L D Z. The motto is Think, Build, Enjoy. Think it, build it, and most importantly, enjoy it. Uh, hopefully, this video won't be too long. You look like it might be. I don't know. I might try to cut it down to like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. But yeah, uh, my videos range from house projects to mini bikes to cars to four wheelers to my Yukon, my wife's Optima, just general maintenance stuff. I found on Facebook Marketplace and worked on. I do have interviews uh, that I've done with my guys that has Mazda 6s. Uh, I have a few more I need to do. You can check those out. Those are cool uh, projects. You know, I got I got everything pretty much in a playlist. You can just kind of pick on a playlist and go down a rabbit hole. Uh, but yeah, think, build, enjoy. Y'all let me know if you like this VR content. If so, I'll make some more. Leave some comments below. Give me some ideas because I'm not going to make it. If y'all not going to watch it, peace.
can I do the? Yep. Nope. Come. 